So in this instructional video, I am going to demonstrate a couple of different techniques that we use in adaptive design that we learned from the Adaptive Design Association down in New York City. One is inserting a piece into uh, inserting a piece of cardboard into another piece of cardboard and the other is using dowel nails to attach and reinforce those pieces. So what you need to do this is uh, cardboard pieces that you're going to attach together. So we're going to use this laminated piece that we made in another video. Um, and I'm going to make a little bench, a little seat or bench or something out of these three pieces um, just to demonstrate these techniques. Uh, you need dowel nails that we also made in another video a hot glue gun and an extra glue stick just in case, a writing utensil, a utility knife, an awl, um, or something equally pointy. But an awl is like a screwdriver with just one single pointy end and we use it to poke holes in the cardboard. And a screwdriver that we use as a chisel or a scraper to scrape away at the cardboard if need be. And a ruler. So those are the things that you need to uh, to do these techniques. So we'll start off, I'll just move these things over. Okay, so you start off by either measuring or just eyeballing where you're gonna want to attach the two pieces together. If you're doing something really precise, I recommend measuring, but since I'm doing this just as a demonstration, I'm just gonna eyeball where I feel uh, that these legs for this little bench that we're gonna make should go. So using the leg at, as itself as uh, basically a, a straight edge or a ruler, I'm gonna mark the place where I'm going to um, insert these. So looks like I went in three flutes. You can also use the flutes in the cardboard as a, a useful measuring device too. There we go. So, oh, look at that. Just finish that line off. So in another video, we showed you how to score and then scrape out uh, a channel in one piece of cardboard to insert uh, another piece of cardboard to make a really strong join. And so that's what we're going to do today with these legs. We're going to carve out these channels so that we can then fit these legs in. I'm just scoring very carefully into this laminate. This is a five sheet thick laminate. Um, and I think I'm gonna carve down a couple of layers. We'll see how far this goes. There's one layer. And just like use the, the um, screwdriver to dig in and carve out this channel. The nice thing about cardboard is that it can come apart pretty easily. So there's like two layers deep. I think that should be good. Just get rid of that and carve out this one now. There we go, just scoring carefully. You don't want to cut right down through anything. two layers down into this and basically these should just slide right in to the uh, piece that you're attaching them to just like that there. all right so the next step in doing this is um, we use the awl to basically poke holes that will become the pilot holes for the dowel nails to then reinforce this attachment. So I'm just going to poke a hole there, and another one there, and you're poking up 
from the channel up to the surface that you're going to hammer into. Um, and then you'll have these little marks that you'll be able to use as guide marks to then poke holes through again when we get to that part. So now you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to put a nice goopy amount of hot glue. I recommend that you do one at a time because hot glue dries really fast and uh, we don't need it to dry before we've got the pieces in. So just do one at a time and get it really securely into that channel. Insert that other leg, get everything lined up. Strings of glue everywhere. All right, just get that lined up. Press those down really securely. And now when you flip it over, those holes that we poked through with the awl, uh, we can see where they're supposed to go so we can use the awl again to poke a hole down through this top of the the bench right down into the leg that we just inserted. So I'm just going to poke these guide holes through. There. And now when you are um, hammering in the... Oh no, I forgot the hammer! <laughs> Remember, you also need a hammer. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, so um, when you're hammering in the dowel nails, what you want to do is um, you want to just squirt a little bit of hot glue in before you hammer it in, and that will stick it together even more. Just hammer it flush with the top of the surface that you're hammering down into, and um, and that's really basically it. Squirt that down in there. Grab another dowel nail. These are the dowel nails that we built, that we uh, made in another video earlier. There we go. So, dowel nails are really amazing. As we said in an earlier video about how to make them, they are really light, they're really strong, and they really help to reinforce um, a join where you've attached two pieces together. So that is really the way that you can put some of these techniques that we've been learning together in, together in action. Um, one last thing that I really like to do with the hot glue gun um, is just to reinforce these joints. I like to send a bead of hot glue just along these cuts, the cracks where everything joins together. So that is how you would attach two pieces of cardboard together in a really strong way. Cut away a channel, insert the piece, hot glue it in, and then using dowel nails, tack it together just the same way you'd use regular nails in carpentry. There you go. Nice little bench. <laughs>